So this is the Armour Typhoon, but this is the rolling chassis model. The, uh, what are they called again? The TLR tuned version. TLR tuned rolling chassis. Now it's meant to be, you put, you get this, it was about 750 bucks or something, and you're supposed to get your own electronics and put it in there. And it's supposed to be 6S. So 6 cell lipo, 150 amp ESC. Now you know what I did? I went a little bit more, because you know, you can do whatever you want to it, really. And I got myself a Hobby Wing Max 6. You're supposed to get a Max 8, because it's an 8, 8, a 1 8 scale Armour Typhoon 6S. But I went with the 1 6 scale, which is 160 amp. And this will do 8S. Instead of 6S, it'll do 8S. And I got the combo kit. So I got the ESC, which I'm going to mount there in a minute. And it came with a Hobby Wing. 1650 KV motor and I put a 23 tooth pinion gear on there so I just uh, got some Loctite we use this Loctite you get it from eBay or from AliExpress it's four dollars a bottle this is the blue one, medium strength, blue. You get, what we do is we got a whole bloody filing cabinet full of it. We use the red one for differentials. The red one, the red Loctite. Well, it's not Loctite, it's a Chinese model, but brand. But instead of spending 45 to $50 for a bottle of actual branded Loctite, we used to use that, but then we went to this, and this works just as good if not better. And this is only one-tenth the cost. Four dollars a bottle. You buy a box of ten of these for 40 bucks delivered. Free postage. Forty dollars for ten bottles delivered. And we used to buy Loctite from Bearing Wholesalers for almost 50 bucks a bottle. And this is only four bucks a bottle. So when I use RC cars, you never use red Loctite, the high strength, because these bolts and screws are just tiny. Little grub screw on the pinion gear, and these bolts here, these these little screws, they're like four mil, three mil, you know, they're tiny. You use red Loctite, you can never get them out. They, it just fucks them, because it, it grabs so much. But this blue stuff, it's only four bucks a bottle, and it works perfectly. So if you work on cars or work on RC cars or real cars, buy this stuff here. It works so well. Fuck the branded Loctite. You're just wasting money buying that shit. This stuff is what you gotta buy. But anyway, so I've got that in there. To get that big motor in there, it wouldn't wouldn't slide in when I put the motor mount on. It wouldn't slide in because it slides in this frame. So I had to take this plastic thing off here, this guard, which was easy to take off. You just unscrew one, two, three, four little tiny screws there, and it comes off. And then it slides in. It just fits. There's like literally no clearance. Look at this, to the chassis and the motor. Oh, you can't really see. Hang on, if I can get the phone in there. Urgh, can you see? Oh, there's a little bit of clearance. Do you see that? A little bit. Right up to it. Oh, fuck the fucking phone. Anyway. So, this thing, once I get this in there, and I'm going to go with a Dumbo, 500 meter range. So that's a good transmitter, that. And I get that in there, and an 8S battery. This thing is going to go so fucking fast, it's going to be out of control. I can't wait, man. 
So this is a this is a custom typhoon armor typhoon 8s. Also before also before I put that motor in about an hour ago I undid these four bolts here there 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 this cover comes off then you can pull the center diff out which is what the brushless motor the pinion gear turns on the brushless motor drives the spur gear up there which turns the center diff which then turns the drive shafts there and there to the front diff and the rear diff which then drives the wheels obviously because it's a four-wheel drive buggy but this this center diff was completely free so what I did is I took that out took apart the center diff with the four screws and took out all that just thin oil put in real thick oil and a silicon earplug and now it's locked up not fully locked up but quite locked up so now when you're doing revving the fuck out of it the wheels won't balloon if you don't lock up your center diff all the all, when when your wheels start slipping in the dirt or whatever one wheel will balloon like crazy because all the drive from that all the drive from that is going to one wheel so you got to lock up your center diff if you have a full wheel drive rc car and you'll get way better performance so i got this phone mount around me body here so i can record i thought i'd just make a proper video because i got this phone holder here's the body right does that look cool i might get a clear body and paint it a different color i ain't no homophobe but pink's a bit weird i reckon anyway it looks pretty cool i reckon it looks sick tlr tuned typhoon it's going to be an 8S Typhoon. It's going to be crazy. Anyway, so I thought let's uh, open this on camera. I've got to get this. This is a Max 6 Easy Run. I should have opened that on camera. But anyway, it's the same thing as this. 160 amp. One six scale they're recommending it for. This is only a 1.8 scale. That's why they recommend 6S. I'm putting 8S in it. Look at that, that looks so fucking cool, man. Look at it, it's huge. <laughs> capacitors, three capacitors, negative, positive wire, on and off switch, on and off cable, terminals there, fan connector. Oh, they give you some heat shrink, that's nice. Hobby wing. My son's watching uh, some boxing thing on YouTube. Anyway, I see if they can hear it. Some guys were playing games on YouTube. Hobby wing. Does that look dope or what? So that is going to go. So the, uh, the servo goes in there. Oh, yeah, I haven't shown you servo. Servo's downstairs. We've got a 35 kilo servo. And then that. Oh, look, they give you mounting screws. Are they mounting screws? Are there threads in there? Maybe. Hang on, let me have a look. Yeah. No? Oh, I don't know. Anyway, will that fit? That will fit in there somewhere. Which way should I put that? Take them screws out. I think I might put it... Put it like that, maybe. Oh, I don't know. Which way do they recommend to put it? I'll have to look all that up. Put it in like that. Hmm. Yeah, so that's going to be... So fucking good when I get all that in. What's all this stuff? Oh, yeah. Easy run. Easy run. Yeah. Then look. 
I'll show you. See down here? Look at all my tools down there. We'll zoom in. Look at all that stuff there. I 3D printed over there. 3D printed all these holders to hold all my tools in. If I can zoom in, I'll show you. See that there? All those things. Yeah, I'm just over here, man. I'm not going anywhere. Don't worry, bud. There's a... Uh, over there. That's a modified... Uh, over there, that's a modified JLB Cheetah. That used to be 4S, now it's 6S. There's a easy run... Oh shit, an easy run in that car, an easy run Max 10. It's a modified HSP drift car. That toolbox over there is completely full of parts for RC cars. Anyway, so yeah, this thing is going to go so fast, I can't wait.